Hey everybody, welcome back to Farm Simulator 22. We're back on Court Farms. Finally, finally we're back on Court Farms and our contract in Farm Build Series. Uh, yeah, we're going to crack on with it. We've got a lot of stuff to sell in this episode. It's probably going to be a shorter one than normal just because I needed to make sure I did a video on this this week because last week I had a busy week and I've had another busy week as well this week. So it's been really difficult to get the content out um, especially last week when I was doing some different stuff with the Moser products and and I was also uh, yeah doing a, a map preview and a, a mod review as well so I, I thought I can't can't go it'll be three weeks if I don't do a, a video um, this week so yeah I'm just gonna do a short one I have been doing quite a bit of work though in the background so I have uh, sorted out the field been yeah making sure that I've got that done because I knew it was gonna be a massive job and I just didn't have time to make a video on doing it so I thought a better thing to do would be to just sort it out and then get into like December, late December, which is where we are now. And we can go and start selling some stuff. So that's what we're going to do. That's the plan of this episode. Um, I will go and show you the field quickly because I'm proper happy with it. Like really happy with it. Finally got everything in it. Sorted out. Finally got the wheat in it. Planted. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good to get... Um, yeah, just get that field up and running, really, and get it <laughs> harvested. I can't wait. It's a, a massive difference compared to what it was before. So we are taking massive strides. I mean, even the fact that I've got this, you know, 8S and over 300 horsepower tractor now. Um, and it's a beast. I've been using it for pretty much the majority of the work that I did in the field. So it took a bit of damage. I think, it, yeah, look, it's at it, uh, close to 50% already. But it was worth it it was definitely worth it um yeah i'm glad i'm be back on this this is actually probably the most fun i'm having on a series at the moment so obviously the farm is completely different it's a role play story um the beanie one uh, the one i'm doing with beanie at the moment which we're now transitioning over to a survival series i i really like the fact that i'm joined by someone i'm playing the game but i'm teaching as well at the same time so this feels like the only one that i've got where i'm actually just playing the game and having you know a normal kind of let's play session for myself um so because of that i'm really enjoying it and uh, i do miss not being on it when when i'm uh yeah making different uh, types of content uh, but i did enjoy as well at the same time you know doing the the map review and the and uh, the mod mod review or preview the, sorry the map preview and the mod review i did enjoy doing that so yeah we're gonna go grab well, we're going to take all these to sell. We are in late December, so it's kind of like the start of January, late December. I do find that when it says best time to sell January, usually like late December is actually the best time. Or the, the just late, like the last day in the month before it says the highest sell point. Um, I do find that, so I don't know if anyone else has seen that, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's going to be good. We're going to try and pay off, hopefully the first loan that we got or well anything really as long as we pay off the loan it doesn't really matter which way we do it if we pay off the the biggest one or the smallest one i think we just pay off the one we got first and then the one we've just taken out recently for this tractor you know we can we can do after so we'll leave that there for a second at least that's ready to go but what i want to do is actually just lock in first on a bit of an update on actually what we've got to sell so I did have a load of canola, but I actually sold that because I needed to get some money in because I think it was only at 8,000 in the last episode. So I needed to get some money in to lease out the equipment I did to get the field planted. So the big field over here that you can see is now all planted with wheat. Um, I got a, a leased out a mulcher, so I did the mulching first all around the field, uh, got that sorted. I then direct seeded in, so I leased out a cedar, um, and then I leased out a roller. Um, and obviously needed lime because I needed spread lime in some of them as well so there was a lot of things that i needed to buy um so i decided to get some money first to generate to obviously do that so the canola is what helped me i got about twenty-seven thousand with the canola because i got three thousand bonus uh from the environmental score which we're doing really well at uh, so yeah it's all done it's all planted in literally just got weeds now so we're gonna lease out at some point as well a spot sprayer just to try and get this maximum keep up that really good environmental score that we've got going at the moment we've got 88 and pretty much the only thing that's like letting it down at the moment is these few fields, these ones we've added, these three. So we'll get that up and keep that going. 
We're still on a really good score though, 88. I'm quite happy with that. But yeah, we've got a load of weeds, so we're going to do some weeding. We need to do fertilizer as well. That's the only other thing I haven't done. But really, the, the, the field's sorted and set, and it should be a cracking field. We've got a lot of loam in that, and it's massive. Like <laughs> The size field that it is, you know, 23 acres, biggest field on court farms. It's going to be cracking. And then obviously, as we go through, we'll expand out. We never know. We might be able to buy another three. Have a look at that. That's like uh, 107,000. 103,000, and that's probably going to be a bit more. So we're looking at like 315, 20,000 to expand out, probably with another three, at least by the end of this year. So we can see what we do. But we, we, we're we making good money. We're definitely making good money. And with, you know, the drying that we're going to do on the wheat that we get from that, we'll make even more. We'll make a load more silage. Um, we've got productions rolling now as well with the... The fabrics, that's going to be a bit of money. I think the next time to sell stuff is going to be April. So if we just go back into the stock saver, you can see, yeah, we've got a load in January. So wheat we're going to keep because we need that for our feed. We've only got 5,000 left just because I've been putting recently. I've just filled up the chickens feed um, again. So we got, I think we'll have enough to tie us over. And if not, then I miscalculated and we'll have to buy a few bags, but it shouldn't be much at all. Uh, so we're keeping the wheat. We'll we can sell the corn. We can even do that in this episode. We may as well. It's a good price, 909. Max price is 909. So we may as well go and do that. Um, wool is May, but I also noticed that fabric is also May. So there's no point in. So that'll be the next time we sell. So, so by the time May comes around, we should have a good chunk. We're already at 66,000 for fabric. And if we go to wool, that's another 69,000. So that's a good chunk of money again. That's That's like. Well, we're getting close to like 140,000 there, aren't we? So, you know, with our two loans that we're currently sitting at, we've got one that's 188, which we're going to try and pay off in this one. Then we've got a 238. You know, we're going to get really close to paying off them loans, which is going to be cracking. It might be a point where we could take out another loan. You know, say we buy three fields this game year that we're, we're literally just about to get into with us being in the end of December. Say by the end of that game year, we bought three more. We could take them out another loan to pay off and buy actually all the rest of the fields to make this whole plan that we went it we, we wanted to do, which I did have a look, and it is going to be, like the aim has to be 43 all the way up to even 125. We could make it like that. Uh, but I just lose that track by doing that. So I'm thinking if I did that, I'd keep the track in or I'd just go to the edge of 124. Um, and there's a really nice little field here called 37 that we can buy. And I could put a shed in there to store some equipment so it's close to this massive field. But you can also put like a maybe a bin for lime, for fertilizer, a spray for, or liquid fertilizer, uh, anything like that, a bit of herbicide. It all could be stored in this section here so we can make it proper. Um, I think that has to be the plan in, you know, going the long way round. <laughs> yeah, the long route. Uh, but overall, you know, we're going to make some serious cash. So we could do that. We'll definitely pay off the two loans. We've got fabric and, and wool that's going to make us a load of money. Uh, like the fact that we'll just keep having loads of eggs as well, which is about 70000 I think it was. So that's really good news. Salage as well is always great money. You know, we've got two, 200,000 litres here of whole crop salage. We're selling it for three, what, 341? Yeah, it's actually 346, so we're a little bit higher on that. So we should probably go and sell that. Farmer's Market Bales is the best one to go to. Now, it only says we've got, we're have got going to get we only going to get like 70,000 there, but that's just because we've just picked some up on the trailer. But we're actually going to get a lot more. We've also got here this, which is really good. I know we're not quite at the point where we could get 1580. We're losing about 4,000 there. Um, we could speed up time a little bit and just see it go climb. It's going to climb. It's going to get around the 1580 mark which is the start of January. But we need to sell this by the end of the episode. We also need to sell all the whole crop silage. We need to sell the, the corn, and then we'll see how much money we've got left. So not too bad. Uh, but I did want to make just a shorter video. Normally, I try and aim for my videos between like half an hour, 45 minutes, because I think that's just a, a nice uh, episode length for someone that you know enjoys the videos and wants to watch. But I'm thinking maybe making this about 20 minutes, 25 minutes, something like that. All right, so farmer's market isn't too bad. It's basically all the way down this road, right to the end, and then we'll be there.
gonna be alright. A hundred and ninety seven thousand pounds, that's what we're sitting at right now. And I just thought, whilst I used auto drive to send the tractor back to the farm, because we're going to get hitched up to all the trailers now so we can go and sell all the loose products that we've got, I just thought I'd come over to this field and show you the size of it. This is going to... Honestly, this is a massive field. It's massive, 23 acres, and you can see the, the patches of weeds that we've got coming through. But no, it's going to be epic. It is going to be epic. A massive wheat field like that, and it... If you just fly up and have a look at all the field sizes around the map, you can see that it kind of just... <laughs> it's insane in comparison to the other ones. It's massive, but it's going to be its going to be fun. Even at this point, I'm starting to think that I might need another harvester. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. But we're, we're just going to keep doing it. We're going to keep doing it and see how far we get. It might be one of them ones where I do it in a, a couple of episodes. Because, yeah, it's going to be going to be a big job, really, with the harvest that we've got now. But fun. It's definitely going to be fun and uh, a lot, you know, we're going to get a lot in return for it. Let's just scoop down to field 43 and I can show you what I was on about. So I can actually take out, you know, the hedges and everything with no issue. And that's a good size field there as well. Field 111 is massive. That That's going to be expensive. 343,000 just for that field alone. But again, a really good size field to to purchase. But what I like is this section here. I can remove out this hedge. We've got a gate there. I can try and make that um, a little bit more friendly by probably removing out them gates and putting in a double gate. And then this could be the road entrance, you know, coming in to this section here. We can have a few can have a few uh, tanks for like liquid fertilizer, herbicide, a, sh a big shed maybe to store the harvester in. Uh, yeah, I think this will be a good section here to kind of make, you know, the starting point for the field. And then we'd obviously have the entrance to the field and it'd just go all the way up there. Right to the end. <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. I mean, you can't... <laughs> it can just about see the edge of where it'll go to. That, that building there will be where it ends. I think this is going to be a job where we probably need... Well, the bare minimum we'll need about two two harvesters ideally you'd want about three but you can't do that with one harvester it'd take you forever um yeah it'd be a, a challenge annual annually charging electricity prices have gone to 0.4 it's not bad is it 44 pence per kilowatt my god i think i'm paying about 28 right now oh that's mental i'd take them prices right so uh, anyway let's just drop this off here we're going to get hooked up, take flight mode off now. Let's go and get this finished up and sold. Now, I'm thinking I will do this with two. So I'm going to just obviously now hook up the, the Massey to the bigger trailer, the, the, the Richard Western one we've got. Because obviously it can hold more. And I think I'll make a start on... Yeah, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a start on the dried wheat. But we're going to use the JCB in this one to go and sell that corn that we don't really need anymore. So we'll have to just try and find the best place to sell that. Because it's all extra money at the end of the day. We may as well make the most of it. So let's figure out the best place to sell corn. Um, I mean, we can technically do it in that, but it seems to not work when I tag the place in that one. Now, I know I had to place down the sell point for the dried wheat, so that shouldn't be an issue. But town stores, right down the road. Perfect. That is perfect. So, in fact, what I'll do is I'll do this quickly because it just makes sense to get both of these and I can use the follow me mod. It makes, yeah, it makes much more sense to do that. No, I feel, it feels good now because we're like, what, 33? I think this is episode 33. We're 33 episodes in. 
and we're starting to make some serious cash. The size field that we've got now for the wheat is... I'm, I'm dead excited for that. I feel like I need to rush through just to get to the next harvest, just to get out of that field. But when I'm in it with the harvester, I'm going to be... I'll probably realise really quick what I've set myself up for. Because it's going to be... It's going to be a big task. So, dried... I'm sure... Yeah, it is. It's just here. So that's really ideal because we don't have to go far. So we want the dried wheat. Fill it up. We are going to use the follow me mod. Now I might take a bit of a shortcut across George's land. Man, he shouldn't mind too much. He's probably out faffing. <laughs> Will you just stop bloody faffing? There you go. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll take the shortcuts to already struggling this JCB is. That is why we needed the Massey. Now, I think it's the... Yeah, this Massey will not struggle. It might slow down, don't get me wrong, but it won't struggle. It's a beast of a machine. I probably need to buy a front weight for it as well, a decent one. I, mean, I haven't actually looked at the animals since I've gone into December 3, so let's just quickly do that and give you guys a bit of an update as well. So the sheep, fine. I haven't fed them anything. Like these are, this is just a grazing mod. Now, don't get me wrong, that's a massive field, but they still require 20,000 litres nearly a day. So, and we're in the winter months, so the grass has gone all the way down. There's no more for it to take. So everything that we, you know, there's 20,000 litres going off every day. So that's only, what, three days worth? So the grass is probably not going to grow back in that period. So we might need to find some feed for these. And that's a lot of feed. I have got some hay, so that we're lucky with that. Don't want to give him salage, so we'll have to just you know work work on that and hope that it, it yeah hope that we're all right. But the good thing about it is, when the summer months come in, it it seems like it holds them through spring, summer, and autumn. So it's only the winter months that we need to look at that feed. Cows are fine. I filled up the feed not long ago with them, so they're they're good. Uh, they have got a lot of slurry coming out, so we're gonna have to try and find a slurry tank. Because I think that might be one of the investments we do. Because that. That could help us out with, obviously, cost of fertilizer. So that might be an option, especially with us having 37,000 litres. We could use that on the grass field, the L-shaped one just up in front of us, and then the one just behind us. So that might might be worth getting. Uh, their feed's definitely gone down. So that's, again, something we, we need to keep an eye on. But the 6,000 litres, you know, it's only two days' worth there. That might become a problem. And the the chickens are fine. Happy as, happy as hell, just keep... Keep on working. Keep making them eggs. Uh, so that's not too bad. It's just the the hay. I think we need to probably not make as much grass silage to sell unless we get another field. We could try and buy ourselves another grass field, maybe one closer to where we are. Yeah, that actually might be something we're going to have to do just to get more hay in. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with my uh, hood there. That's really strange. There we go. Finally worked. I had a really strange thing going on with my hood then when it was like... Yeah, the dials were all down here. I don't even know what was going on then. Never seen that before. <laughs> Whatever mod conflict that is, it's not not ideal at all. So this is a perfect trail. 36,000 litres. This might actually struggle a little bit now. <laughs> Thinking how much that uh, that's carrying. So that's 36. And that's 30. So to be honest, there's not much difference between them two. That's still a good size trailer. No wonder the, the JCB struggles with that. But we've just taken a really good chunk out of that. Uh, so let's just go to here and just see how much we've got left. If only 15,000 litres, which is still good money though. 24,000, nearly 25 grand. And we, and we are not taking into account as well the bonus we're going to get because of environmental score. So can't complain at that. So if I have a look here, we should have a cell point that I've placed. I'm just going to figure out what, what it's called. Yes, yeah, so this one is the cell point. So if I tag that, I know it's all the way up. I know it's all the way up at the top of the map. So we're going to take a bit of a shortcut, and I'll get the JCB to follow me. I may as well do this properly. At least it's only this one trip for the JCB. I can do the rest in the second trip. There we go. So, again, I'll do it on a bit of a time lapse because I'm going to have to do two trips myself. Uh, but, yeah, should be all right. This should. Hopefully, by the end of this, we'll have a lot of money. Ooh, drink. 
thinking at the battle, not thinking about tomorrow. Don't worry, that's a motto. So we keep moving along. Ooh, dropping down a cobble in a sunburnt El Dorado. Don't worry, that's a motto. Look at that, £350,000 in the bank account. That is excellent. So I think the only thing we need to do now, really, is pay off that first loan. I just want to get that one cleared because it's yeah remaining amount 188 So let's do a special repayment, and we'll go 188675. Make that. So we've completely paid off that loan, so that's great news. And... We've got 160,000 left. That's I'm pretty chuffed with that. That means we could probably move into some kind of production. I know we were talking about the tailor shop, but we'll we'll have a look at some of them probably in the next episode and stuff. We'll also look at the the used market as well because if there's a slurry tank, there you go. There's a slurry tank right there, and it's only 1,000. Um, it is quite a small one, so we could have a look through another JCB as well. Some decent harvests. I mean, that's not bad for 100,000. Big John Deere. That is actually really good. Uh, there's even a T7 now. 86,000, we get another T7. Don't need any more trailers or anything like that. But it would be nice. It would be nice to get a... <laughs> it's funny how I bought one of them, but now there's one on offer. It would be nice to find a slurry tank, but it doesn't look like there isn't anything else but that one. I mean, that's not too bad. But it's just very small. I mean, it's got a capacity of only 6,000 litres, which I guess isn't too bad. I mean, we could probably get away with that, but I think we'll look at all that stuff in the next episode. Uh, but I did want to just get everything sold, kind of move into next year, so we'll definitely go into probably... Uh, I'll have a look at how it, how it goes for the time. I mean, we've definitely got to do a bit of work on that field, and as soon as the grass starts growing again, uh, we can start doing some contracts and... Uh, yeah, get that money in, but we're doing well. 160,000 to start off. We'll move into some productions and stuff like that. So that's really good. But next week, I am going to get another episode out. The week after that's going to be very difficult because I'm doing the, the farm and week. So, yeah, that, that week's going to be a challenge. Uh, but I will try my very best. Uh, probably just going to do seven episodes of the farm and like I planned and, and probably like the, the survival series that I do with Beanie. Um, and yeah, the court farm series is probably going to be a bit difficult that week. But I think on that note, I am going to leave the video there. Definitely been a productive one. Sold everything. You know, year three turned out to be really good. Let's hope year four is going to be even better. It should be with that size field. Got a few things to buy. We'll move into probably doing some more productions and trying to make more money that way. But yeah, really happy with how it's going. And I'm enjoying this series. And I hope you are too. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up because that does help my channel out. And if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.